Depending on the subject, each week you will attend a combination of lectures, tutorials and or workshops. You can find out what the attendance requirements are for each subject you're enrolled in by looking in the handbook or on the LMS. You may find that for some breadth subjects you also have a lab or a prac class. Apart from the classes you will attend each week, you're also expected to spend additional time outside of classes reading, preparing, revising and doing assignments. For each subject you should be doing a minimum of 5 hours of additional study each week. Lectures are designed to give students an overview of a topic or topics and are usually held in lecture theatres. Class sizes can vary from 50 to 500 students. It's important that you prepare for all lectures by doing any required reading in advance. Most lecturers will explain their expectations of you and the format they will follow throughout the semester in the very first lecture, so it's important that you start attending from the beginning. Lectures are often recorded and this can be a great way to go back over a particular topic if you want to revise or clarify things later. One skill that you will need to develop is your ability to take notes during a lecture. You don't need to write down each word the lecturer says, as often they will commence with an overview of the key points that will be covered. Lecturers will also emphasise, either on the slides or in the words they use, the main points they are making and the ones they want you to remember. Some students use a laptop or tablet to take notes, others use paper and pen. You should do whatever works best for you. A list of lecture locations is provided on the University of Melbourne website, so familiarise yourself with each location so you don't get lost. Tutorials, or tutes, are often smaller in size than lectures and give students an opportunity to actively engage with subject content. Many subjects base a percentage of the grade you will receive at the end of the semester on your participation in tutes, so it's important that you prepare and engage. In some subjects, you'll be given problems to complete either in groups or on your own during the class. Tutes are also a great way to meet and make friends with other students in the course. The Learning Management System, or LMS for short, is the university's online system for delivering subject content to students. When you are enrolled in a subject, you will automatically be given access to the subject's LMS site. You can access the LMS through MyUniMelb. You'll be able to read a subject guide, find the contact details for lecturers and tutors, view a schedule of the topics covered each week, download lecture notes or listen to lectures that have been recorded you'll be able to find out the specific dates that each piece of assessment need to be submitted. In many cases, you'll also submit your assignments through the LMS. A number of commerce subjects will have mid-semester tests. Keep your eye on the announcements section of each subject in the LMS for further details of test times and locations. Seats in a mid-semester test will be reserved for you according to the class you are registered in, so it's important that you only attend the class you have registered for. The end of semester exam timetable is usually published eight weeks prior to the exam period. You can access your personal exam timetable through MyUniMelb. It will tell you the date, location and start time of each exam. Closer to the exam period commencing, it will also tell you your seat number. Remember to arrive early to each exam so that you can find your seat. If circumstances beyond your control affect your ability to submit assignments on time, you may be eligible for an extension of up to 10 days. You will find information about how to apply for an extension on the LMS. Remember that you will need to apply before the assessment due date and you must be able to submit supporting documentation to verify your circumstances. If you require an extension of longer than 10 days, or you are suffering from a chronic illness or disability, you might be eligible for special consideration. Information about special consideration can be found on our website. If in doubt, you should ask at stop one. All students have a University of Melbourne email account, and it's important that you check it at least two times a week, including over university breaks. Your email account allows staff to communicate important information to you in relation to your enrolment, fees, courses and classes. You can access your email account via the new email icon in MyUniMelb. 
If you want to email one of your tutors or a subject coordinator, you must use your university email account. So, I hope you found this information useful and wish you a great semester.